Uh, good afternoon from Rio de Janeiro. I am Alex from the Alex Flu Antennas, Papa Yankee One Alpha Hotel Delta. And uh, I would like to show you four ways uh, to use your Alex Flu. Okay, the first idea is use a Vivitar uh, tripod. You have the name of the on the top on the top left of the video. So we have uh, the tripod. You, you we need to take the camera head. It's very easy. There is a plastic pieces, a plastic plastic brown piece that you, we must take it out. And then you can imagine that you have a four inches. That is the uh, the clearance between the, the 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 base of the antenna and the plastic ring. Okay. So here we have this this document here. Anybody who wants it, they can send by email. And I have a new future uh, published on my web page. Okay. But let's see here. Here we have the Alex loop. And the tripod goes here inside, with no problem. Let me zoom out. Okay, here we go. So the tripod is here. And you have enough space for a QFP radio here, like a KX2 and something like this, there's no problem. So here's the tripod. As I told, the best thing to do is make here a mark. that have made for four inches that's the limit the recommended limit so you need to put mark here okay and the, the other thing that you need to make this is to have some kind of a plastic uh, tube a small plastic tube of a maximum of four inches that goes here uh, has an intermediate tube between the tripod to end tube and the Alex loop here so the great advantage of this this tripod is that it is very light, very simple, and you can have all the stations inside the loops bag. That is uh, the custom-made bag, exactly for the the was designed for the the Alex too. Okay, here we have the bag, and uh, here we have the instructions. Okay, the other idea is uh, how to fix. Uh, how to put the Alex tube on a, on a balcony or uh, something like this, okay? And um, the solution is very simple, like you, you can find out on any Home Depot, any Lowe's, any store like this in the US, is this kind of plastic clamp that is very strong. So you can use the handle of the loop, the, last, the final part of the loop, uh, only uh, with the clamp on it. This is the idea. If you have, if you need a, a bigger, a, a larger space here, you can choose for uh, something like uh, a tube, a tube like this one here. So you can introduce it, and you are have more space. But never forget very important thing. This is is really important. Uh, Any time that you use on a balcony or on a window, do not forget the supplied hope on all the Alex loop antennas. All of them goes as a, a, a piece of hope that is enough to, to have it on a fixed part of the antenna and uh, fix it to another part of the of the, the rail of the, the balcony. Okay? So it's very simple. Nothing more than this here. And from the balcony, after your radio section, okay, you only roll. Many people ask, why is the Velcro here? Then you make a roll here, a roll, put the cable this way, and throw it between the floor, between the floor and your bed. So your Alex loop, you stay all the times ready to use with the cable accommodated here by the Velcro, right? Uh, the other idea, the third idea, is if, if you want to use your Alex loop on a picnic table, there is nothing more simple than making a clamp 
This one uh, was salvaged from an uh, uh, old table, table lamp. So I take it to fix the antenna. It's very goes inside my bag either. Some, sometimes I need to use it. It's very simple. And uh, there's nothing more than this. And it's very easy to rotate the loop to, for the best signal. Okay? So this is the first idea that you can use on your loop. And I will teach here how it's simple to make one clamp to do this. Uh, if you want to homemade your your clamp for picnic table, you need nothing more than something like a six inches tube that goes goes inside the, the Alex tube, inner inner tube, okay, like this. Take a clamp, two plastic ties, nothing more than this. Then pass the first plastic tie here. And the other one here, it's kind of some difficult to do with, you know, seeing the, the, the viewfinder and uh, like this. Okay, up here, then the second plastic tie here on this part, and you have your picnic table clamp. And now I will show you the fourth way to use your Alex loop. Uh, I, I have used it many, many times and I have a record on the HFPEG Hall of Fame using the Alex loop this way. I was walking around a, um, uh, a, a club in Marina Barra Kublin, Rio de Janeiro, and I got the contact with the G0 SBW in England. And, uh, the way I, I was, was using with a FT817 hanging on my neck and uh, turning the loop of my thumb. So the Alex loop is so light that you can hold it with your hand and turn with your thumb. So this one is the way. There are some people that probably will need a handle here and it's very, very simple to have a handle. You go to a bike store and buy a pair of handles, the LSC or pairs, okay? So you take the foam, and this is the same size of this here, okay? You use some one or two drops of lubricant, something kind of a mineral oil, and they, they, they go very easily to the two. Nothing more than this. So you can hold and tune and have the bike handle if you want. So this is the four ways to use your Alex loops. Okay, so I will thank you very much for your attention and I wish to everybody a very, very, a lot of fun and many, many QRPDXs. Thank you very much, PY1AHD, Alex, Alexandre Greenberg, Rio de Janeiro.